Hi, welcome to Bookie. Today we will unlock the book Survival of the Sickest, a medical maverick discovers why we need disease. Upon seeing the title of this book, you may be wondering how can diseases make us live longer? Nobody wants to get sick. When someone falls ill, he or she will be suffering a great deal of pain, and probably becomes a burden for the family. Then comes the expensive medical bill, and not to mention a possible complication or even death in the end. All of us wish to avoid getting sick. Survival of the Sickest is a book that takes a whole new perspective on the importance of disease in preserving life. It also provides a reinterpretation on the relationship between illnesses and life. The authors offer a fresh viewpoint. Sometimes, diseases are the results of natural selection of human genes, as harboring these genes can improve our chance of survival under specific environments. Throughout history, diabetes, hemochromatosis, and many other notorious diseases were far from being the causes of death as we know today, they were saviors that had preserved the entire human population. It is because of these diseases that humans can withstand changes in the external environment and sustain life. This book was written by Sharon Moalam and Jonathan Prince. Dr. Moalam received his PhD in human physiology at the University of Toronto and completed his MD at the Icon School of Medicine at Mount Sinai. His fields of research are rare disease, neurogenetics, and biotechnology. Also, he is a science writer and author of several books, including How Sex Works, Why We Look, Smell, Taste, Feel and Act the Way We Do, and The DNA Restart, Unlock Your Personal Genetic Code to Eat for Your Genes, Lose Weight, and Reverse Aging. Prince was a senior advisor and speechwriter in the Clinton White House and oversaw communication strategy at NATO during the war in Kosovo. He was named one of America's Best and Brightest by Esquire in 2005 for his work to improve political advertising. In the book Survival of the Sickest, the authors delve into the history of human evolution. They also take a whole new perspective on life, the human body, and our understanding of diseases. Next, we will uncover the best bits from the book in three parts. Let's take a look at how various illnesses helped our ancestors gain the upper hand in the race for survival on Earth. Part 1, How Did Hemochromatosis Help Humans Overcome the Plague? Part 2, How Did Diabetes Help Humans Survive During Periods of Extreme Cold? Part 3, The Relationship Between Microbes and Diet Let's talk about the first part, How Did Hemochromatosis Help Humans Overcome the Plague? Before we answer the question, Let's first get to know hemochromatosis. Hemochromatosis is both a genetic and metabolic disorder caused by excessive accumulation of iron in the body. Typically, when the body detects too much iron in the blood, the intestines automatically reduce the absorption of iron from food. It ensures that our body doesn't get overloaded with excess iron. Once the iron in the body reaches a certain level, the excess will be metabolized instead of being absorbed. Iron is probably seen by most people as an essential trace element in maintaining human health, as evidenced by the frequently repeated advice to consume more leafy greens and red meats. There is scientific truth behind people's enthusiasm with iron supplementation, as the element plays a pivotal role in our metabolism. Without iron, oxygen from our lungs cannot be transported to all parts of the body. Iron is also an essential component of many enzymes that convert sugars into energy to maintain the body's daily functioning. If there is a lack of iron in the body, a person may develop some diseases, such as anemia. People with iron deficiency anemia may experience paleness, shortness of breath, weakness, a weakened immune system, and more severe symptoms, which can be life-threatening. Due to the paramount importance of iron, most medical research has focused on populations with iron deficiencies. Some doctors and nutritionists have even reckoned that more iron can only be better. The food industry currently supplements everything from flour to breakfast cereal to a baby formula with iron. However, is that true, the more iron you have, the better? That's not the case. Iron is essential in the human body, but by no means the more the merrier. On the contrary, we can be more susceptible to illnesses if we ingest too much iron. 